Alrighty, time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, we're here at the Connecticut Science Center, joined by Eva Ryle. Good morning. Good morning. We are in specifically Science Alley. Yes. And a lot of folks have heard about, of course, the ship in a bottle. Yeah, but that's kind of old now. Right. So we want to put a Science Sunday twist on it. I mean, why not? <laughs> All right, um, so what do you have for us today? We're going to make an egg in a bottle. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. <laughs> so this is a short-lived product. I don't know. It's not going to smell great in a couple of days. You're not going to put this on your shelf and look at it for months, much less weeks. I'm not going no, to. <laughs> not a good idea. Yeah. So if you try to stick our hard-boiled egg there, so it's deshelled hard-boiled in, in that bottle. Yeah, it's upside it's down. Going. Yeah, it's not going in. All right. right. And um, if we, you know, if we want to have our egg in a bottle, we want our egg intact. That would be ideal. Yeah. We don't want pieces of egg in a bottle. <laughs> we want the one piece. That's not as cool, right? So we are going to actually use a little bit of science. We're going to use some matches. All right. Um, I'm going to take four matches. Now, is there a magic reason why or number um, of four that we're using here? That's just kind of the number that I, I can hold on to at a time. OK. <laughs> so we're going to strike our matches. And if you're we're doing gonna... this at home, of course, um, Parent supervision, because yes. we're, of course, using fire. Always, so always. That. We're going to rest the egg on top. So you oh, see our matches have gone it. out. It's moving. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It's kind of getting squeezed, squeezed on the top there. So while we wait for this to magically, scientifically mm -hmm. drop into the bottle, <laughs> explain what's going on. Yeah, so when we put the matches in there, it started to heat up the air inside of the bottle. Now, when air gets heated, those molecules move further and further apart. Um, but then as those matches went out, that air inside there is starting to cool. Those molecules are moving closer together. It's condensing, which means there's less pressure and that's going to pull the egg in to the bottle. So you can see it's already like halfway in there. Yeah, it's, 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 it's certainly making progress in. at a snail's pace. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty big egg. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the fact that you guys, of course, are open. We can mm -hmm. show a little graphic while we wait for this to, to yeah. drop. Um, we, we have um, uh, your open normal hours, Tuesday through through Sunday now. Yes. Um, so Tuesday through Thursday. Oh, oh there wait, to here go. we go. Here we go. <laughs> and oh, oh, it looks like. Poof. All right. So maybe part of it came off on the way down. It kind of, maybe the edge was a little sharp. You just spin it around, though. No but, one will see. But, but we're good. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, sorry. Back to the graphic. Yeah, so <laughs> I got excited. Up. Yeah, that was that was wonderful. We, we, it, it works. Yeah, we so, got the egg in a bottle. But yeah, so you guys are open now. Yes. And we still have Maya. So if you haven't seen it or if you have seen it, you want to see it again, definitely come check it out Tuesday through Sunday, 10 to 5. Right. So yeah. it's it, Maya Hidden Worlds Revealed. It's your traveling exhibit space in the South Tower. Yes. Yeah. yeah and it's great. And it's included with general admission. All right, Aoife, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another riveting edition of Science <laughs> Sunday next weekend.